All right, so last year, we added several new features to the engine to support foliage rendering, and the Fortnite <laughs> wow. team used those features to ship Battle Royale Chapter 4. Wow. At the same time, Jacob over there and the team at Quixel were experimenting with what's possible wow. for photoreal foliage environment, <laughs> what? as well as testing out the latest functionality that we've been building what? What? for Unreal Engine. So, Jacob's here with us today <laughs> in the Unreal Editor. Let's explore the environment. And what better way to do that than off-roading? And what better way to <laughs> off-road than an Arivian R1T? Oh my god. Now, Rivian uses Unreal to power their instrument cluster, including 3D visualization oh of their vehicles. They put a Rivian So we work in. with them to bring the R1T to life in this experience. Let's head on out, Jacob. Sure thing, on my way. All right. So we're building tools for interactive and dynamic worlds. So here we have right, chaos right. physics simulating rocks that tumble as we drive over them. Leaves They're just showing the off uh, the, the engine and itself, Limitless. And we also added some real-time fluid simulation. Like what the engine's capable of. We worked with the team at Rivian to set up a wow. real chaos vehicle model to simulate the suspension of the truck and how the electric motors drive each individual wheel. The physics. Chaos also simulates how the tires compress and deform, and MetaSounds enabled the team to precisely resynthesize the sounds of the electric motors and mix them with the ambisonics of the jungle. So Rivian provided us with a highly this is, detailed model. This is model this is showing what the, the engine's capable of for developer use, right? Right, that sketch, were able for, to primarily in real time, thanks to Nanite. Nanite's awesome. Nanite now, technology is freaking amazing. Rivian not only looks incredibly amazing. realistic because of Lumen and Nanite, Lumen's awesome but also too. its materials. Lumen and Nanite combined today, is amazing. We're introducing Substrate, our new material framework. Huh? And to better demonstrate it, let's swap the paint out for opal. Now, of course, you can't order a Rivian with Opal body panels, but Opal was the internal code name for this project and also a really great demonstration of Substrate's capabilities. Wow! The base layer models the iridescence, refraction, and reflections that occur inside of an Opal. And on top of that is a layer representing the polished surface and how light is absorbed as it travels through that clear layer of varying depth. And now we can add back on the dust and dirt layers and notice how the reflection changes when interacting with the dust layer, and that there are no artifacts along the transition from dirt to dust to opal. So substrate is more expressive and able Hold on a second, my mind just blew up. My mind just blew up. Yes, sir! You're not gonna eat me! Yes! <laughs> wow enabling artists to create materials like this with different shading models and compose and layer those materials as they see fit. All right, let's uh, <laughs> head on out, Jacob. <laughs> on my way. In terms of performance, substrate materials that are similar to the current Unreal Engine shading model cost about the same. But now, artists have the freedom to author more complex materials for extremely detailed use cases, like in cinematics and in film. So we're gonna drive under this fallen tree here and everything that you've seen <laughs> up to this point was painstakingly hand-built by the environment team at Quixel. For real, dude. Everything I'm cooking a grilled cheese on top of the PC right now. using our brand new experimental suite of procedural content <laughs> generation tools. Entirely an engine that are flexible, deterministic, Unbelievable. and artist-driven. Unbelievable. Our guiding principle in building these systems... I mean, look at this environment, for God's sake. For the environment, the lighting. So Jacob's going to go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world. And the cool thing is that it communicates. Thank you. <laughs> did you hear him say thank you? Did you hear him say that? Like, did you just understand it like that? That is, that is, that is literally loco. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. That's an understatement. That is a fucking understatement. And the cool thing is that it communicates with other nearby procedural elements in the scene, like the creek bed. So let's say a designer comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right, and everything updates to accommodate that change. Game design is iterative, so let's say the designer comes back. Wants oh, we're, we're, just, we're just a few years away now. We're just a few years away now, guys. Like 11 years. I said 2033, man. 2033 implementing this engine.
Uh, I mean, like, VR combo spiciness. <sighs> Web 3. Wants to give the player the choice it's, of going left or right again. 11 Jacob years. Jacob can simply move the assembly back over. 11. Now, the artist who It'll created this together. assembly also added some together. additional handles that Jacob can use to arch I'm losing where it, dude. I'm occur. losing it right now. Allows him to customize the piece a little bit more, make it a little easier for the Rivian to drive by. Hey, so Kiss, we welcome by to the stream. Crafting that Good to original see you, man. part of the level to set the visuals and art direction for the entire piece, and then built out procedural tools that allowed the team to create a much larger play space much more quickly. Now, let's Holy see how we can use shit. these procedural tools to make larger sweeping changes to the environment. Holy shit. So Jacob, let's start by removing some of the trees in this area. Absolutely, that's easy enough actually. Good to see All you, right. Kiss. A little too much, let's let's add some trees back in. Okay. And let's also add in some cliff formations, give it a little bit more variability. So the procedural systems are all deterministic. We're, we're a very Jacob rare few. Sketch the nose what was being talked about. Once he finds a set that he likes, he can always go back to it and get out exactly the same results. And the procedural systems aren't just placing trees and rocks, but also fog cards, bugs, birds, everything that's needed to bring this environment to life. And everything that you've seen here works at scale. This environment is four kilometers by four kilometers. If we hide all of the procedural elements, we can see that original hand-built area about 200 meters by 200 meters. We believe that there will always be the need for hand-building environments, so we designed these procedural <laughs> systems is to be tools for artists that work in concert with hand-built content. Both Substrate and the new procedural tools will be available in experimental form. No, you, you can't do that. Yeah, Coop. Yeah, they and don't understand, Coop. Here is running it's in the Star Engine or Die for Star, Star Citizen. It's Star Engine or Die. With an Intel 13900K CPU. Listen, first and off, I am completely like flabbergasted, if that's the correct word. I feel like it is. I'm completely like in awe of of Unreal Engine and, and its capabilities. Nanite technology is so cool. Lumen is so cool. We've, we've been following this the whole way in the entire development up to Unreal Engine's 5 release. We've been doing this for quite a while here on the channel. To see the leaps and bounds in the tech, man, is just, it's, it's, it's exponential now. Like it, you really are seeing it roll. You're really seeing it come into its own. It's crazy. Uh, the the technological jump that's happened here with Unreal Engine. Nvidia RTX 4090 GPU. So Jacob, thanks for being here and helping us out today. Thank you very much, Nick, for having me. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. I mean, awesome. Yes, yes, they can sketch. <laughs> Run it this on 9,049 days. My room is hot like the sun. It's time to make some grilled cheese. Grilled cheese with my 4090 and. Unreal Legend makes me get. I can't say that. I can't. I can't say that. It makes my no-no spot excited. where we're going in this space 
get, to be alive in this at this period of time is pretty awesome in ga for gaming. Like really. Yeah. Yeah, man. Dude. Dude, these kiddos don't know how lucky they got it. These kiddos, these kiddos do not know how lucky they got it. I mean, like, for real, man. Can you imagine being bored in this time and you're like a teen right now? Man, by the time you hit our age, you're going to be in a hollow deck, dude. It's going to be Star Trek. I'm so jelly of our kids, man. These kiddos, they get the best of everything. They get the best of everything.